Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your second of four fan-requested Friday matchups of the week. Ken Waller versus Chris Bumstead. Is this a continuing trend? Each week, each week on uh, Fan Requested Friday, Chris Bumstead versus a, a classic competitor. He is a classic physique division competitor after all. I believe it was Jusip Wilkos last week. Now Ken Waller maybe upping the ante. Perhaps, perhaps. I'm surprised here. That V-taper of Ken Waller, very, very good. A little bit earlier on in his career. It's almost right on par with Chris Bumstead's. But Chris booms up with a little bit bigger set of lats, maybe a bigger set of legs. Of course, Ken Waller was known for a tremendous set of wheels. Those teardrops on his quads, second to none, second to none. Winning the, in the arm department as well. So if there is going to be a good start for a 70s bodybuilder against a today's competitor, it's going to be a pose like this, and it's going to be these two competitors. So maybe even an edge, surprisingly, to Ken Waller. Take that edge away, guys, in this front lat spread. If it was close in the front double by, it is not close in the front lat spread. And this is the only picture that I can find of good old Ken Waller, the t-shirt thief. Anyway, he uh, he stole Mike Katz's t-shirt. I just watched Pumping Iron yesterday, and, you know, it gets, it gets to me. I know it's been... Well, quite a few years. What was it, 40 years, guys? Anyway, it's been a while, but it still it still gets to me. Bumstead just destroying Ken Waller here in the front lat spread. Turn to the side, and this is basically the same thing. Ken Waller, as good as he is, good set of wheels, even from the side. In the 70s, keep in mind, guys. Chris Bumstead's outstanding. As good as Waller is, he just does not stand a chance. He cannot see to swing a punch. Chest for chest, Kenny has a good set of pecs. I mean, if the display was a little bit better, he might he might uh, hold his own against Bumstead. And that's funny. Usually the '70s guys bigger or better display rather, not bigger pecs, but well, maybe maybe percentage wise they would have for the compared to the other muscles. But anyway, guys, go to the next side shot, side tricep photo shoot for uh, our boy Kenny Waller. He is a big, thick man. He was a, one of the biggest of the bodybuilders back in the day. There wasn't too many guys the size. And actually, not too many people talk about this, but Kenny was strong. One of the stronger guys in the gym. Maybe uh, could have been a weightlifter. Could have been a weightlifter. But anyway, guys, Chris Bumstead from head to toe. He's just so much better conditioned. So much better. And the muscles are more pronounced. Muscle separation's better. That in a realistic competition, there would be no competition. It would be a Chris Bumstead matchup. Kenny Waller would have to uh, diet for another few months. Go to the first of the... Oh, we have a couple of back shots. No rear lat spread. Kenny, guys. If this is a matchup... Okay, just pretend you're just judging the calves. Kenny wins this one. For sure he does. That's the only real argument that people could have. That says Ken Waller defeated Robbie Robinson in 1975 at the Universe. Because, really guys, Robbie... Robbie might have... He might have been better than Ken Waller there. All jokes aside, I know I make Ken Waller appear like a bad guy. He's the t-shirt thief. All that. Well, I watch Pumping Iron quite often, so... You know, I'm a Mark for that. And my name is Mark as well, so... Anyway, guys, look at the traps on Kenny. Traps, calves, he's winning this one. All else goes to uh, goes to uh, Chris Bumstead. Now, the, oh, okay. We do have another back shot. It's a tilted, but we're going to, I guess we're saving it. This is the most muscular pose. Not a very good one for Ken Waller. I'm surprised. It's actually hit at the, basically the exact same posture. I don't know. Kenny seems to be, well, he, he fades away in this one. His delts. Just the way he's hitting it, I think. But anyway, kind of disappointing. Individually, I seen these pictures and I thought, oh, this is going to be a good little showdown. But you put it on, uh, put it down on paper and Chris Bumstead's just wider. He's bigger, he's better, he's more conditioned. Altogether, he's winning this matchup, guys. Now, we're going to finish this one off. We have a tilted rear double bicep. And it's a... 
I guess it's a different posture, different angle. But it's not a bad little comparison. Chris Bumstead, he's awesome. He's awesome. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger-like. And Kenny Waller, good good set of triceps, good delts, good traps. The man, you could tell he was strong. He had those traps. And, you know, you hear stories. I believe it may even been Frank Zane or maybe Dave Draper. Somebody along them lines said that uh, Ken Waller was the strongest guy in the gym at the time. Anyway, guys, I guess Franco Colombo wasn't there. Or maybe he was. You never know. You never know. Two powerful men. Now, this is an outstanding little comparison shot. Very earlier on edition of Ken Waller. His waistline was tremendous. Tremendous. He didn't have that small waistline on pumping iron. He didn't look that good on pumping iron either. I mean, he looked good. He looked good. I'm not to say that he didn't look that good. He didn't look as good as he did here. The wheels, look at the teardrops on the man. He was fantastic, guys. Peaks to the biceps, midsection. He's winning this shot. He's beating Chris Bumstead at his own game, I think. At least in this shot. Camera angle might be a little bit different. Making his legs look a little bit bigger in this shot. Because in most of the other shots, let's face it, Bumstead was dominant in the wheel department. But hey, I like to give all the favors that I can to some of these older guys. And this is just an outstanding comparison. Kenny Waller, he is, I made him a bad guy on my channel, but you guys know I'm joking around. It's a docudrama. The whole t-shirt thing was set up. Him and Robbie throwing the football around. Him saying, oh, I'm going to hide Mike's stuff. I'm going to hide his t-shirt. Things of that nature. Hey, Ken Waller, he's awesome. I love the guy. But this is your winner, Chris Bumstead, fellow Canadian, current competitor, current world champion, a Canadian world IFBB champion, a men's classic physique division competitor. Anyway, guys, that was two. Look forward to two more fan requested Friday matchups. How do you get your request played? Well, you got to have a request and it has to be, if you're listening to this part, you're too late. You're too late. You have to comment as soon as the video comes out. Has to be the first. The first. You Pick Tuesday is the one with the most thumbs up. But Fan Request Friday? Doesn't matter. You could see some crazy comparisons. Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.